Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Um, just take what, what does resonate and toss out the rest. Um, and thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do. Um, that helps this channel keep growing and you're you're helping so many other people. Um, thank you so, so much for all of it. Um, the song that I'm picking up on is, um, Are You Going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. I don't know all the words to it, but, you know, Blah, 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 blah. Remember me to someone, I don't know. She once was a true love of mine. What I'm feeling like is somebody may know someone who um, is going to be around you. So they're like telling them to say something to you or ask you a question or find out how you are or something like that. There could be an event. Or something coming up. I'm also getting the feeling like someone is stuck, like in a war zone. Okay. Um, that's what I'm feeling like. I feel like they're stuck in a war zone. And maybe they can't get to you and they want someone else to come in and talk to you. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me see. That's the song I'm picking up on, so it may resonate. It's... I... I... Um... It's an old song. It's sung by a lot of people, but I think it was done by, I want to say it's Simon and Garfunkel. I don't know all the words to the song, though, so you may want to look it up and listen to it. But that's the song that I'm getting. She once was a true love of mine. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I feel like this person is kind of burdened right now, carrying a burden still. You know, usually when we see this card, it's the, it's the end of a cycle. But um, I don't see this person moving forward. I don't see them really dropping this burden. I see them carrying the burden. Yeah. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Yeah, because she once was a true love of mine. That's what this person is thinking of. I feel like they're maybe accepting the fact that this is the end to a cycle, okay? Um, but as they as they leave, they're they're going back to to something in their past, or maybe they're just they're hanging on to this, almost like they're living in the past. Um, Thinking about you, not wanting to let go of your energy. You can feel this person around you, this energy around you. You know um, you know that they're thinking about you. You know that they want you. Um, yeah, I'm feeling this heavy sadness here. Like they're feeling very like, like they're giving up, okay? Like they're giving up. Yeah, like they've been through a battle. Like they've been sent through a battle here. This is a wounded warrior here with a flag and everything. Um, yeah, I'm getting the whole battlefield feel thing off of this. Um, they turn their back on you for a third party situation here. Okay. I feel like they had a choice to make between two, maybe three people. Um, and this person, it's like they know they want you. Their energy is around you. She once was a true love of mine. They're hanging on to your energy here. Coming off of a battle, this person's been in like... I get the feeling that it's been kind of brutal for this person and that you've been in separation... Maybe they're looking to get some kind of message out or something, but I don't know. Still, with the battle thing here. Wounded warrior, wounded warrior. Yeah, and there you are, shopping around in Scarborough Fair. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. That's what I'm getting. I don't know. You could be a Leo. 
I feel like you've been standing in your strength and your power and your integrity. Basically, this person is hanging on to you because they're never going to meet another person like you. I mean, for real. Even in, the, even in the brink of a battle and a war, whatever this is going on with your person, all they can think about is you. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Is your person in the military or something? Trying to figure this out for you. You're shining bright like a star. You're having a glow up. Very loving energy and um, real strong values and integrity and holding your head up high and being a guide for other people. Other people are watching you, man. You've healed from something here. Okay, what can you show me? You could be an Aquarius, a Leo. Your person could be a Gemini. You could be a Gemini. Yeah, I feel like judgment's being called on this because your person hasn't come forward. I feel like they've been, they, they've just been kind of been putting it off. This is, they've made a lot of mistakes, re really done really bad things to you. Um, and they, they haven't been wanting to face the consequences. They haven't been wanting to take responsibility to the person they need to take it with. And that would be you. And I feel like you're leaving the scene here. You're also having some kind of stardom. You're having a glow up in your life. And I feel like you've healed and you're out there healing other people. You, you're very spiritual, very intuitive. And I feel like the divine is making a judgment call on this. Because this person's hanging on to your energy, and I feel like you're trying to move forward, and you're an intuitive, so the divine really needs you to have your energy, not someone else. You know what I mean? From a distance. I feel like this is, def it could definitely be a twin flame soulmate connection. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, <sighs> Gemini. I feel like this is your energy here with the Leo and the Aquarius. But I feel like the divine is calling judgment on this. Because your person's just not coming forward. And they're about to miss this opportunity with you. With the Four of Cups here. This was a blessing in love. That's why the divine is not dealing with somebody who just doesn't make right um, with a person that, you know, this was a divine blessing. And they're, they're not going to make it right with you here. They don't want to confront this, but yet they're hanging on to your energy so intensely. It's like you can feel them around you. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they're hanging on to your energy and you're just still standing strong. You're just remaining strong through this whole thing. You're remaining strong and loving and intuitive. That's why the divine is like, you know what, buddy, back off. You're missing this opportunity because you didn't come forward, then back off. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. Or maybe they're just tooting the horn like it's time to do something here. They're feeling out in the cold. They're going to start... Um, they're going to start feeling out in the cold. They, they may even start getting poor health. They could even um, be low on their finances here. I feel like kind of what's happening to them was what they put you through, okay? That's really the feeling that I'm getting here. Wanting a new beginning with you. They, they know with you they could, they could build something solid with you. You could be um, working on your abundance right now, heading towards this Ten of Pentacles. Um, yeah, I feel like they want this new beginning with you, though. I feel like... She once was a true love of mine. 
they they want to maybe commit to you or they could see themselves committing to you they're watching you studying you really studying you could be dealing with a virgo or a fire sign yeah, they know that you're very, very abundant. And with you, they could have uh, literally a beautiful, solid life with you. But they're just not coming forward. It's like they want this. They see you have a passionate new beginning. But they just hang on to your energy and watch you from a distance, trying to manifest you in... Oh, they feel stuck in a battle. I'll tell you that much. They feel stuck in a battle. I feel like they're up all night thinking about this. I feel like this is their energy. You may actually have dreams about this person. You may be having dreams about this person. That's them trying to get into your dreams. They're trying to manifest you. Okay? So you could very well be dreaming about this person. That would be them. Look at how they're like right behind you. It almost looks like you're sleeping and they're talking to you. They're manifesting here. They're working some magic maybe even with the magician. Maybe some moon magic or something. I don't know. But you could be feeling this at night, person watching. You could very well be dreaming about this person. I don't know who this is for. All right, what else can you show me? And, you know, honestly, the song paired with this is kind of creepy. I feel like it's, um, they, they could be trying to get through to you in your dreams. I, I feel like they're trying to come in your dream state. That's really what I'm feeling like here, even with this card here. It's like this is you trying to stop them from coming towards you or something. What are you having nightmares about this person? I'll tell you what, I sleep like a like a rock usually. Um, but you may be having nightmares about this person because it's almost like they're stepping into your dream here. Somebody's trying to do something like um, they could be doing some kind of magic work, some kind of spell. This is too many though, Divine. What's this? Yeah, they could have even hired a practitioner to help with some magic work to keep you trapped in your head. They could have hired a practitioner for this. Paid a pretty penny for it as well. Who is this, guys? Because they want you guys back together. Because you're an empress. You're abundant. And there's new people coming into the picture. At least so they think. You're keeping your moves hidden. But I, I feel like they want to have a victory here. I feel like there's new people coming in around you. And they want the victory. This is at Scarborough Fair. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. God, guys, I don't know. This is... That's a song I keep getting. I feel like somebody's coming towards you. Somebody's coming towards you. It's either your person or they're sending someone else in to talk to you. That was kind of the feeling that I'm getting or that I got in the beginning. Now I'm not so sure. I feel like they're trying to manifest you back in here. And I feel like um, you're keeping your moves hidden. And this person doesn't really know if someone's around you or not. But they sure want to be. 
this is somebody too, like I said, that comes off of a battle. We've got a lot of war stuff going on here or battlefield kind of stuff. This person's been through it. But this is somebody who comes off of a battle having a victory, okay? So maybe somebody could be coming back home from, like, the military or something. And you've been waiting patiently. Just working on yourself, being abundant. That could be one of the scenarios, too. I don't know. Take it however it resonates for you guys. This is definitely for somebody. You're their Ten of Cups. This person knows with you they can have... Oh, they can have the kind of life that everybody dreams of having. Okay? They can have the kind of life everybody dreams of having. Yeah. But they've been juggling you with somebody else too, though. I'm seeing this as juggling, and I'm seeing two feminine energies in this picture. So maybe this pic this person's been somewhere where it feels like they've been through a battle, and they feel very stuck, okay? Um, and uh, they really regret turning their back on you, wishing that, that they could have you back again. They don't know if you have other people around you or not, if you have other suitors, but they have a feeling there's some competition, and they want to beat that competition. They want to have a victory with you. Yeah, they've been juggling you with someone else. Look, they've been juggling you with someone else. There's juggling here. This person, this fool is juggling, getting all tripped up. Yeah, they're feeling like a fool. They've been through it, whatever... It's been like a battle. So this could have been in a karmic situation. This is somebody who could have been like overseas somewhere in the military. Take it however it resonates with you. Because there's a lot of like war connotations here. Like this, been through a battle. This wounded warrior, wounded warrior, been through a battle. You know what I mean? Okay, what can you show me here? And something about Scarborough Fair. I don't know. There's no way I could learn that song. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, don't ask me. Um, it may resonate with you, though. But, yeah, I feel like... And for some of you, this person is doing some kind of spell work. For some of you, they hired somebody, a practitioner to, to do, uh, I, you know, normally I don't shout out spell work. But I am seeing that here. I've got to tell you, with the magician, the nightmares, the queen of wands is out here as the practitioner. And I've got them stepping into your dream here. Okay? Do you see this? Yeah, so I, I have to mention it, you know. Yeah, they're in a lot of pain here because they know they walked away from you, and I feel like they want to approach you again. Um, yeah, this is somebody who walked away from you in the past, but now they want a victory with you. I feel like um, you've been the temperance angel through all of this, just very balanced, very calm, very peaceful, um, very patient. And um, I think you've moved on here, you know. But I feel like you may be having nightmares. Yeah, as I say that, you moved on. Yes, some of you could have moved or moved away, away, a long ways away for some of you. Um, but you're taking yourself to calmer waters. Yeah, you're, you're outy, except for the fact that you're having some kind of dreams or nightmares about this person. That's what I'm picking up on here. All right, what more can you tell me? 
pay close attention to your dreams, okay, collective. Um, oh, that's a that's a. Oh, okay, hold on. That's a confirmation. Hold on a second. Yeah, somebody's. It's betrayal here. Hold on just a second. Okay, collective. Listen, when the doorbell rang, right? A kind of a bell went off in my head too. I had to answer the door, and I had just pulled this card out, right? The Five of Swords backstabbing i'm i feel like somebody cannot let you go okay they're in regret i feel like now here's the thing i usually don't uh even really I, it's not spell work isn't something that i just jump to every reading guys okay um but spell work can be pretty much anything it can be you know um Anybody sending you bad thoughts, right? Bad juju, bad energy, okay? Um, or just thinking about you a lot. Um, even, you know, blowing out a birthday cake. We, we light the candles. We make a wish. We blow them out. You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of like it's sort of everywhere, and, and it, it does go overlooked because they're sending you bad energy. It's... You got to cleanse your energy, okay? Um, but in this case, I really am seeing spell work, all right? I'm seeing this as spell work, the magician. Um, somebody, look, they, this person could be paying money here uh, to a, um, a practitioner. Entering your dreams, look. Um, you having nightmares about this person. Look at all of this dreamy stuff here. I mean, I'm telling you. And then the when the doorbell rang, the bell went off in my head. I've been singing it through this whole entire reading, and I can't believe I didn't notice it before. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. I'm telling you, either you need to burn some sage or something to protect your energy and cleanse your energy or that's what they're doing in a spell doing some kind of magic there's a practitioner here this is a practitioner i just have the feeling i gotta go with it i've got to go with it on parsley sage rosemary and thyme i've been singing it through this whole reading it wasn't making sense until now I think you are leaving the scene. I think you've had enough of, of this energy, okay? And I think you can even feel it on you really heavy. There's, a, there's kind of a tiredness about you here, a heaviness, okay? Because you're, maybe you're having a hard time sleeping. Maybe you're, you're up at night thinking about them. Maybe there's a, a time when you're thinking about them or you're having nightmares. Pay attention to your dreams and burn that sage. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Time. There could be a time of the night when this happens. Pay attention, okay? And cleanse your energy. <sighs> Jeez. Yeah, this is stuff that's being done behind your back. Okay, this is selfishness. You know, a lot of times we talk about this card, um, talk about you behind your back, right? Backstabbing, sabotaging a connection. Well, this can be things like this. Them doing this kind of stuff, paying a practitioner, paying a practitioner to try to get you back. With parsley, sage, rosemary, and a certain specific time of the night, maybe. Think about it, okay? All right, give me one more here. And I, usually, guys, I, I promise you, I don't like to jump right to spell work, but this is what I'm seeing here. Nine of Cups. This person wants their wish fulfillment. This could be somebody who drinks a lot. It could be something in something you drink. Someone could offer you a drink. If they're offering you a drink, do not take the drink. Only get your own drinks and don't let anything out of your sight. Because I'm not seeing the cups. 
I'm seeing this thing, this decanter, this mug, whatever, whatever pitcher that is. Like there's something in it. You know? Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. Take it how it resonates with you. I usually don't pick up on a whole lot of spell work, but in this case, I'm picking up on it. And the, and the song that I couldn't figure out, Parsley, Sage, Rosemary, and Thyme, I feel like it's a love spell. I do. I feel like it's a love spell to try to get you back or to get you to think about them or something. I don't believe it's working. You may feel like weird at night or you may have nightmares and stuff like that but you're still moving forward you're moving on yeah ace of cups in reverse yeah this this is not i feel like this could be a, some kind of love spell and it is not going to work it's not going to work All right, give me one more. Give me one more, please. Yeah, see, if somebody hands you a drink, look, if somebody gives you something to drink, if someone gives you something to drink collective, dump it out. Just dump it out. Right there on the spot. Oops. Oops, sorry. You know, order your own drink. Right? Don't take anything from anyone, you know, no food, heartache. I feel like you're just, you're done with all of this. I feel like you're moving to calmer waters as a temperance angel here. Very peaceful, peacefully. You may even be trying to, you know, sneak away. Um, be, pay close attention to your dreams. If you're traveling in your dreams, man, write it down. Keep track of what's going on, okay? And cleanse your energy, please. Burn some some sage, you know. Um, I, I even use incense, okay? Um, it can be whatever it is for you. Just try to cleanse your space, your energy. All right, give me one more. Yeah, parsley, sage. Look, they're not going to have any luck. These keep coming out in reverse, and my deck is not in reverse. And here's somebody coming to offer you something in a cup. <laughs> they may be coming in to apologize here, but um, I'm seeing some kind of sabotage being done. You know, sabotage, but what I'm really feeling like here is somebody, a selfish act, something being done behind your back. Okay? And I feel like th that's what it is. I feel like there's a practitioner involved in this too. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's what I've got for this reading. I've got to cleanse my energy too. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go. And um, I hope this helps. I really do. And uh, if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow. And until next time, Collective, take care of you. Cleanse your energy. And peace out.